Welcome to the Cover Your Assets podcast, a show for the physician who understands the importance of protecting everything you've worked so hard to achieve. If you're ready to find the peace of mind that only financial security can bring, let's get started. Here's your host, Billy Gwaltney. Hello, welcome to today's episode of the Cover Your Assets podcast. As always, I'm your host, Billy Gwaltney. Uh, Excited to be with you today. Our topic today is the enrollment process for the Emeritus Guaranteed Standard Issue Disability Coverage. Um, This process is very straightforward. It's all electronic. Um, If and when you're ready to proceed and you're working with me to secure this coverage for your situation, um, we will email you a link to input your personal information. It's uh, electronic probably take you 10 minutes at the most. Um, Again, there's no medical questions, just some kind of what they call gatekeeper questions about uh, being at work over the last 30 days and so forth. Um, So you fill that out and then that information is imported into the Emeritus application system and you will receive a link to review and e-sign the application. Uh, That probably takes you three to five minutes um, and then that's it for you. Uh, You'll get an email confirming receipt of the application. It takes the company anywhere from a day to a couple of weeks to process it. It all depends on volume and just, um, you know, how um, overwhelmed they may be or how busy they may be at a particular time. So it can be really quick, but it might, I would allow for at least a week or two uh, on average to get the the policy in and we will send that to you for delivery Um, and you would e-sign for that electronically as well. Everything, we're in touch with the underwriters every day, um, and everything's communicated and delivered electronically, and we get that to you securely as soon as we have it. Again, no medical questions are required to this, but one caveat is that you must enroll in the GSI, the Guarantee Standard Issue, before you apply for a different company, uh, or even with Emeritus. Once, uh, Once you have either postponed an application or received a modified offer with an exclusion or been declined, then you are removed from eligibility for the GSI. Um, That's a brutal rule and they do not make exceptions. So yes, you can even apply with Emeritus and get an exclusion and you cannot then switch over to the GSI. Um, So if you're looking at the GSI, it's important to secure that first um, it's, um, at the lowest rate, it's got their 20% discount. It's got the true specialty definitions. It's a no brainer and the underwriting, uh, even if it takes a week or two is much quicker than, uh, the traditional medical screening, which can take anywhere from three to eight weeks, two to eight weeks. So, um, it's shorter on that. If you have it available, uh, take advantage of it. You won't regret it. Uh, feel free to contact me to discuss your situation further. I'm happy to answer questions. You can text me at 704 704- Two seven zero two three seven six. Again, seven zero four two seven zero two three seven six. Grateful for your time. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Cover Your Assets podcast, a Work P two P production. New episodes drop every two weeks. If you've enjoyed the conversation, subscribe, rate, and review this podcast. For more tips and advice visit the website and YouTube channel. Check the show notes for links. Join us next time for another episode dedicated to helping physicians like you get your disability insurance right and protect your way of life.